Suk Ju Ryu came to Canada from South Korea in 1972 and opened a convenience store near DuPont Street in downtown Toronto to support his family. He sold that business in the early 1980s and opened a new convenience store on the ground floor of a senior's apartment building at 11 Arleta Avenue in the Jane Street and Shepherd Avenue West neighborhood. Suk Ju was a hardworking family man. By the cash register the linoleum tiles had worn away from the hours and years he'd spent along with his wife tending to the store. The Ryu family lived within a four-minute drive of the store, which was open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week. Suk Ju would sometimes lock the shop for a few minutes to drive his wife's son Hai home. Sometime during the afternoon of February 18, 1993, 56-year-old Suk Ju closed the store briefly to drive his wife home. Shortly after he returned, two teen boys, believed to be between the ages of 15 and 17, reportedly entered the store with a firearm. His daughter Elizabeth and police think Suk Ju may have refused when the teens demanded he hand over his cash. Whatever happened, one of them shot him in the chest and they fled. A customer found Suk Ju lying behind the counter minutes later and called 911 at 5.28 p.m. The suspects were last seen boarding a westbound bus, but by the time the police caught up to the vehicle, the teens were gone. Police canvassed the neighborhood, collected evidence from the store and brought the bus in for forensic examination. With no solid leads or security footage, and with DNA technology still in its infancy, they couldn't zero in on the killers. Any persons of interest at that point were eliminated through interviews or evidence, so once all the investigative efforts were exhausted, the case went cold. In 2021, 28 years after Ryu's murder, Toronto police reopened the case in the hopes of extracting DNA and further evidence from what was collected on scene, hoping that advancements in testing technology might crack the case. Investigators promise to create a profile that they can compare to a database of known offenders. The Ryu family reopened the convenience store about a month after the murder and operated it for another three years, before selling the business. It still remains open to this day under new owners. Unfortunately, the case remains unsolved. Suk Ju left behind his wife Sun Hai who he had been married to since the 60s and their three children. Sun Hai never remarried. Anyone with information is asked to call the homicide unit at 416-808-7409 or Crime Stoppers anonymously at 416222-TIPS. For more of these stories, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel.